Hello all and welcome to the Sunday stream. So today what I want to do is usually what we do on a Sunday is we take a look at uh, the portfolio and we look back into uh, just September 2023 and then move forward. And uh, that's pretty much the extent of it. Let me go over a couple of things. But when I did this last week, I noticed something and that was like uh, a lot of people were saying, well, that's not that great. I mean, you know, 5%, 7%. And you know what? You're absolutely right. And uh, from now on, what I need to do is just take a look at the profits going a little bit farther back. And uh, we'll take a look at the portfolio at the end. But today, what I want to talk to you about, because I was going over things, I took a look at the dynamic DCA portfolio. And I got to tell you, uh, just taking a look at this, instead of being static, it can increase by 9 to 10x. So let's just jump right in. So first things first. Uh, of course, we are stealing all the information from Ben's site and the Cryptoverse. Link in the description, 10% off the first month, all that great stuff. And uh, these are the things that I dollar cost average either, either daily or weekly. I will just uh, remind everybody that my portfolio right now is 75% Bitcoin, 10% Ethereum. And the other parts, another 15% or so, is uh, alts. And right now, I've taken a look at, uh, this is what we have. So we have Bitcoin, Ethereum. Solana, which has done pretty well, quite honestly, after the uh, just the narrative of getting out of the FTX shadow. I still think it's a good project. Um, it's been up six months straight. I know people complain about that, but <laughs> it's doing pretty good so far. I mean, I know in the past it had problems with whatever. Cardano, Dogecoin, Matic, Chainlink, Polkadot, Cosmos, Arbitrum, Near, and Algorand. So that's what we have right here. And uh, I'll remind everybody that, of course, we'll take a look at the portfolio, how it's doing since September, which is, you know, half and half pretty good. But I have to remind everybody that I've been in this space, as you probably well know, since 2017. And 2017 was a great time. It was a bull run. A lot of people got into it. And uh, in 2018, I figured out that, hey, bull runs don't last forever. That's crazy. And then there's this thing called a bear market. And bear market is for accumulation. And I didn't really get it into my head uh, after I got stumped in January. I'm like, hey, what the hell just happened? Everything's supposed to go to a million. That's what everybody told me. I don't know why it didn't, but here we are. And then uh, around February, March, I figured out, you know, it's just better to get into the market and just stick around. Time in the market is more important than timing the market, which is half true. Um, I mean, as far as like selling, I'll, I, that's a whole new video. But uh, what I did was I just started a dollar cost average. And I dollar cost average all the way back in the day when, you know, Cardano was nothing essentially. Cardano was, uh, you know, a nickel and uh, Ethereum was $98. And that was what was considered expensive because people back in, well, 2017 is when Cardano came out, but uh, Ethereum itself in 2016, it wasn't really touted as being that great of a thing. Of course, it had smart contracts, you know how good it is now, except for the gas fees. And uh, I just did that. And I started to invest in very early. This is May, geez, Louise, this is May, May 21st, 2018. So I just said, okay, let's put in like 10 bucks a day, something like that. 10 bucks a day, 10 bucks a week, doesn't really matter. Uh, and when we've taken a look at this, you know what? Let me just make this very simple. Let me do 10 bucks a week just for now. Because some people don't have 10 bucks a day, right? They're like, how, where am I going to get 70 bucks a week, Rob? Well, how about 10 bucks a week? Or 10 bucks, yeah, $10 a week. So if I... Well, let's just say I did that, right? Coming over here, again, time in the market is great when you're accumulating, but timing the market is actually pretty critical when we're talking about taking some profits. Let's just be honest. But look at this. I mean, if I would have put in a whopping $1,800, $10 a week over since 2018, 18, 19, like four years, three and a half years, look at these gains. Where can you get this? Dogecoin, $178,000. Matic, $84,000. Chainlink, $61,000. Cardano, $48,000. Solana, $22,000. Ethereum, $22,000. Bitcoin, only $10,174. But again, that's not bad. It's like, you know, 5X. Algorand, Dot, you didn't do so hot. Dot had some problems early on. But yeah, I mean, look at this. This is uh, pretty awesome. However, let me go back to daily. Bitcoin topped out around November 10th, right? 2021. Let me take a look at that. Let's say November 11th, right? And if you can see right here, this is why when, when I, what I'm trying to get to. If we had Bitcoin here at 99, 
November. Come on. Yeah. You put in 10 bucks a week. You get 100, roughly 100,000 in Bitcoin. That's pretty good. Everybody's pretty happy with that. And all the rest of the things you're doing, fantastic, right? But what if you, and this is what I'm trying to get to. What if you dynamic DCA? And dynamic DCA, I'll, I'll explain in a second. But look at this. November 9th, 2021, you had $515,000 worth of Bitcoin if you would have dynamic dollar cost average. Dynamically. What the heck is that? Well, we talked about it, but I'm, there's a whole new wrinkle. And, and you could, I mean, let's just take a look here. How about Cardano? Let me go back. DCA equal amounts on November. Mm -hmm. Cardano, you had 344,000. Dynamic DCA, holy smokes. I shouldn't even show you this. This isn't even, at the very peak, you'd have, wow, 2,767,744. So what is this, this dynamic DCA? And of course, we talked about this, but when I took a look at this, I'm like, man, that is uh, way higher than I thought it was. And it's something that, you know, like we hear about and we know we should do, but we kind of kind of lose it. Here's what it all comes down to. Wristbands. And if we take a look at Bitcoin, the wristbands right now, the current level is 0 0.5 to 0 0.6, which is all the way over here. And what you're doing is essentially you're picking a point of when you can increase or decrease based on wristbands. And when we take a look at it, this is essentially dynamic DCAing. But I'm going to show you a twist, which is what I think I should have been doing a while ago. And I might, uh, it's, just, it's just a different way to do these things. So dynamic DCA is just doing this. Okay, here's a time in the wristband, right? This is Bitcoin. 1,143 days, it's around 0 0.3 to 0 0.4, which is the majority of the time, right? So what you could say is like, okay, the majority of the time, let's stay 100 bucks a week, right? 100 bucks or 10 bucks a day or whatever it is, it doesn't matter, whatever you can afford. This is not financial advice, I can't give you that. Any kind of financial advice, not investment, uh, financial advisor, obviously, I'm just a guy and really nice green screen talking to my computer and you. So as it goes down, or as it gets a little bit more risky, the 0 0.4 to 0 0.5, you do a little less. But as the price goes, this is when the price goes up. When the price goes down, you say, hey, price is down, blood in the streets, I'm gonna keep buying, right? But as it goes up over here, maybe you put in 50 bucks a week. And on this left-hand side, you say, you know what? There's more blood in the streets. Let me put in 150 bucks or 200 bucks a week. If it goes really low in this 0 0.0 to 0 0.1, you know, the time like when we had, oh, whatever, China bans Bitcoin or some pandemic virus comes out or something, I don't know. So that's essentially how it works. Then of course you can sell along the way at 0 0.6 all the way forward, if you so choose to. Micro strategy of a different, different uh, look at dynamic DCA and they're just gonna buy the whole way. And of course, your lovely friends who are going to make fun of you until the bull run, they just see you as uh, like, why would you invest in something that's uh, so devalued or so the valuation is so low? Because it's undervalued, geniuses. That's why I do it. But that's what you say to your friends. Not, I'm, not, I'm not saying you guys are, are that. But here's another way. Here's V2, which makes a little bit more sense, actually, if you take a look at this. Let's just say that you pick a, a point at the very high point, 0 0.7 to 0 0.8. And you say, okay, this is the, I'm gonna put 50 bucks a week into this, which is less than 10 bucks a day. And then as the price starts to decrease, you go, okay, I'm gonna put 60 bucks a week, and then 70 bucks a week. And you get where I'm going with this, right? So then at the very end, you're just kind of going in, in reverse. And then when it gets to this really crazy time frame, it was like 0 0.1 to 0 0.2, you're putting a lot of money, I mean, more money in two times, sometimes three X. So when we take a look over here and these time and risk bands, you can do it for whatever you want to on, on the site. You got Ethereum, pick your poison, Cardano, BNB, and Solana. And of course, Chainlink, one of my favorites. So all the things that I pretty much buy except for BNB, I don't buy that. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I'm just saying. So again, when you take a look at this, you're like, holy smokes, this is... Uh, if I just did that, let me switch back to Bitcoin real quick. If I just dynamic DCA'd 
And you can do whatever you want to, right? You can just straight dollar cost average. But again, what's great about this is, and of course, these tools that I'm showing you, this one here, the DCA equal amount, that's a free tier. You can use this and check it all out. It's free. But I believe the dynamic DCA tool is, a, is on the paid version. So just let you know. So I'm giving you the inside stuff. Congratulations. So anyhow, so when we're taking a look at this for the $10 daily since 2018, what does that look like? Well, they're just saying, okay, on the 0 0.7 to 0 0.8 level, I'm buying 10 bucks. And I'm going to double that at the 0 0.6 to 0 0.7. And you get where I'm going with this, right? Just what we showed you, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then when it's at the, at the least risk, when the price has absolutely collapsed, you're putting in $80. And just by doing that, and it seems like you're like, well, shoot, that's a, that could really add up. True. It can add up this way. Now, doing this for every crypto or digital asset does not mean that you will get an 803% return. Or it doesn't mean that if you do this same thing, you do this with uh, chain link. Oh my God, I shouldn't even show this. $3 million. Let's look at DC equal amounts. First of all, what day was that? We'll say May 8th, 2021. May 8th. Come on. Jeez. 732,000 on that day versus 3 million. But you get where I'm going with this. Uh, you know, dynamic DCA is, it's uh, some, some of the purists for dollar cost average will say, that's not, that's not what dollar cost averaging is. I just put it in there. You can, it's whatever you want to do. So there is that. And then what's really interesting now that we're talking about dy dynamic DCA is what if we just, well, Rob, and again, time in the market is more important than timing the market, right? Except for when you sell. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Look at this. Look at this. If you would have diamond hands it, great job. I mean, congratulations. You, you're the next meme on Twitter. You diamond hands it and you go, you know, I could have had just DCAing for chain like 622,000, but I diamond hands, baby. You know what I have over here? 120,000, which is pretty good. That's like almost like a 5X from what you, you put in 20 grand, but it's not over here, right? And then you can do this. And that's, that's why I want you to sign up and just do this yourself because it's free and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Diamond handsing, I don't know. I don't know. So the question then is, well, okay, genius. Well, how do I get out of this? And do I even want to get out of this? And here's the thing, like, a lot of people will say, I don't want to get out of this. I'm going to diamond hands. And, and Michael Saylor said it's, there's no second best and, and dollars are going to inflate away. You have a point. I'm not going to say that. But I'm going to say, for me personally, when I get out of some positions, I get into other positions as far as assets. And those assets can be precious metals. Those assets can be land. Assets can be real estate. The assets can be yourself. If you want to improve on yourself, what do you want to do? Or start a business or whatever those are assets. I'm just saying, sometimes you take one and feed the other. But anyhow, this is a pretty cool tool. This is your, if you're gonna DCA in, why don't you DCA out, right? So what we're gonna do here, let's just take an example. One, Bitcoin. We're gonna use the current price of 29,855. Let's just say today is the day, right? You bought Bitcoin at, I don't know, 8,000 bucks, whatever it is. You want to sell, it doesn't matter if you do beginner, well, it does matter. If you do beginner, middle, or top, let's just say the top. You're going to try to time the top, but you're not going to hit it. Exponential. So those numbers that we had, the risk band reached. The risk band reached. So on this example we gave, for the dy dynamic DCA, See right here, it says accumulate up to this risk band. You can change that to what, God dang it, whatever you want to. There we go. You can go 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.16, 0 0.17, 0 0.18, 0
or you can go zero, 0 0.5. That's all you want to accumulate up to, but just know if you do that, switch back to Bitcoin. If you do that, the gains become a little less. So remember how it was like over 500,000? Now you're at 300,000 or 296,000, which is better than the 100 that you had before when you just DCA'd in equal amounts, right? Yeah, or 93,000, excuse me. So let's just say this, for this exit strategy, you say, you know what? Conservative would be, I'm gonna start selling. Well, there's numbers and there's percentages, whichever way you wanna go, let's go numbers, very simple. So at the 0 0.5 level, I'm gonna sell a little bit, 2% of, I'm gonna sell 2% of one Bitcoin or 0 0.02 Bitcoin. Now I'm gonna get $464. 3%, I'm gonna get 1.2 or three, blah, 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 blah. Until you get to these risk bands, which they progressively go up. So instead of selling at 30,000 or 29,855 as the price go up, you get 74,000. It's not bad, but that's not you, right? because you wanted to accumulate up to 0 0.7 to 0 0.79. So you'd be the holder in this situation. So you wouldn't sell at 0 0.5 or 0 0.6, 0 0.7. You're waiting for the time and risk bands, which is not a bad strategy. It's better than throwing a dart dartboard or saying, you know what, or doing my mistakes, which is, I think that Bitcoin's gonna be 150,000, which I was wrong. And I revised that and said, okay, I'm gonna do 100,000. And that was wrong. So if you think that it's gonna be 100,000, and it doesn't hit, what are you doing? Well, you're, you see the Bitcoin go up to 63,000 or you see Cardano go up to $3 and it crashes all the way to 24 cents or Bitcoin going down to $29,000. Again, it's whatever you wanna do. If you don't wanna take any profits in diamond hands, that's fine. So getting back here. So let's say like, okay, I'm gonna sell a little bit, $8,500. I'm gonna sell 0 0.14 Bitcoin at 59,437, because as the time and wristbands go up from the current price. Okay, I'm at 8,500. 8, Next one is 20,700, not bad. Even if you buy today, you're, you're still like, with these two, buy, two, two, these two sells, you're almost even. And then of course, when it gets to 1.0, when everything gets super overblown, you just made 78,000. That's a pretty good return, and I don't know how, many, how long it took. Now let's go crazy. Let's take, let's take Cardano. And so Cardano today is like 25 cents, right? Let's take 10,000 of those, like 2,500 bucks. My math is right. And it's the same thing. I'm gonna be a, 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 a hodler. Ten thousand, yeah. So I do something like this, and I only I only put in twenty five hundred bucks. With the other example, I just put in roughly thirty thousand dollars, right? Because that was for one Bitcoin. So with one Cardano, I mean ten thousand Cardano, twenty five hundred dollars. I do the same thing. For the time and risk bands. My first sell is. 1400 Cardano at $2.77. That's pretty, that's pretty ambitious. 447, and then $7, it's $57,000 if it goes up that high. But what's great about it, what's great about this is, I don't know if it's gonna hit that, but I'm not a big price prediction guy. I don't know if it's gonna hit that. Maybe I'd, I'd step off the gas for a little bit. I put in 2,500 bucks and maybe I do this. Maybe now, maybe I do this. This, these things were more legitimate for me. The conservative is 0.5. I'm gonna sell 150 gig Cardano at 80 cents. Ah, there we go. Then I'd sell 317 Cardano at $1.17. And then this one, once I get to here, I'm almost, actually I'm almost back to, to square one and so on and so forth. I think for this one, you put in 2,500 bucks and get 53,000. That's not bad because I can tell you right now, most of the people that I know in crypto, not most, well, these days, I'd say about half. They write it all the way up and they write it all the way down. But look at this. 
You can do, a, I don't know what you can do with 53,000. Some of you are like, I can't do anything with that. It's not going to fit in my yacht. And some of you are like, I can, I can use that for, to pay off some debts. I can pay for my kids to go to college. Might be able to put a down payment on, I don't know, a shack in Los Angeles, <laughs> whatever it is. But uh, you can see where I'm going with this. I think this is uh, not a bad strategy to implement. And again, looking at it and going, man, this would be like, an, I can just kind of guesswork or I can be a little bit more safer in this bull run because I think the bull run is coming. I just don't know when it's going to be. And that will take care of that section. So let me know what you think about that in the comments. And now let's take a look at how the portfolio is doing. So again, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm just been DCing equal amounts. Actually, I've been... I've been dynamic DCAing, but I just wanted to show you some, something simple. Let's start with the starting dates. This is 10, yeah, 10 bucks a day. 2023, February to, no, 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 it's not right. Ba, ba, ba. September, actually, let me go back one. No, look at that. August 30th, September 1st. And if we're starting on September 1st, 10 bucks a day. And again, these are what these are what I buy. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, Dogecoin. Don't make fun of Dogecoin. It's been around since 2014 in the top 30. I don't know how your new coin is doing, but not bad. Chainlink, Dot, Cosmos, Arbitrum, Near, Algo. I've added in some... Um, some other degenerate plays, like in the uh, uh, in the gaming sector, Web3, but we're not going that right now. But look at this. Not bad. Solana, I'm feeling pretty good. 700 bucks. I thought I was overvalued, but here we go. Chainlink, another big winner today. Uh, six, up 31%. Bitcoin, up 10%. Not bad. I'll take it. Cardano. 2.5, Matic, 7.9, ETH, 1.2, and Doge, a whopping 0 0.8. And then the biggest losers, <laughs> Arbitrum, which is, I do like Arbitrum. It's, 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 an, it's a new project. And I like new projects, especially because I don't have a bunch of bag holders like we had in, from 2021 and, and before. Polkadot, not doing so hot. Algo, eh, Adam. And of course, my favorite project, Near, is doing the worst which is so strange, but hey, it's what it is. Today. So if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, everything we talk about is time sensitive. And uh, that's it, so thanks. For